Hey yo, what's going on? It's your boy Will, your mother's favorite William, by the way, and I'm back with another video. All right, so it's 2019, right? Your boy just graduated from college, right? Prices just went up. Started grad school about three days ago. Man, it's honestly um, a lot of work already. But that's besides the point, your boy's doing big things. But it's 2019, new year, same big goals. And I wanted to put out a 2019 expectations video. A lot of people do that about their resolutions, their goals, their plans, and I'd much rather do it. I'd much rather show y'all what I'm doing. So that's kind of why I didn't do it. On top of that, I don't really like believe in expectation, or I'm sorry, I don't really believe in like a resolution. Cause I feel like if, if the year before was that bad, you had plenty of time. You had 12 months to change that. You had 12 months to change it. So it got bad early on. It didn't just like get bad on December 31st. So you got to like do something different for the next 12 months. Like that's not how it works. Everything takes time. I feel like you should have been putting in the effort to change the year. Like early in the year not on the on the last day the last month but that's kind of why i didn't do it you can drop in the comments y'all can disagree y'all can like ask me questions about why i didn't want to or why i don't believe in resolutions i'll gladly answer or drop in my dms on instagram i'll gladly answer but nonetheless i definitely want to do this quick little pop-up video about my brand uh displaced by design uh, check us out on instagram check us out online www.displacedbydesign.com uh, check us out Go ahead and uh, use offer code WILL15 to get 15% off your purchases. I'm getting a lot of questions about my brand. A lot of questions about like how I started it, how I created it, what all it took to go into creating it, starting it, launching it, uh, getting apparel, manufacture, all of that. My methods, my production methods, all those questions I've been getting. People have been like hitting me in the DMs because I've been promoting it like crazy over social media. So they've just been hitting me in the DMs like, how did you do that? How did you start it? Um, they've had a lot of tons of questions. So I figured why not just address you all via YouTube? Let's get it. The number one question I've been getting about my clothing brand is, is its meaning? Um, like, what does it mean? Really, it has several different meanings. It's not a crawl. First of all, it's not sideways. It's just, you know, you know, stretch that end out. I've actually been sitting on this idea of creating a clothing brand for years. I know I want to get into fashion. I know I wanted to like create a brand, a clothing brand, a clothing line, but what do I want it to be? If you have an idea of starting clothing, that first step should be figuring out what you actually want to do. If you want to sell, like t-shirts, hoodies, like I'm doing right now, hats like I did uh, a couple years ago. Like if you actually wanna sell items, you gotta figure out what it is you wanna sell. If you wanna manufacture, if you just got it like that, where you could like, you know, manufacture your own clothing, um, like put together your own clothes, like sew your own clothes and stuff like that, go for it. That's like incredible, do that, why haven't you been? You know what I mean? Doing that for other people. I would say the first step is like figuring out a meaning or figuring out uh, what you want your brand to represent. I went through this period, like again, I've been sitting on this for about five years. So I went through so many different periods, so many different phases, so many different meanings until I figured out the one that I wanted to roll with to start. And um, you know, that's honestly, that's half the battle right there. Once you figure out what you want it to represent, the, the logo and the name, that kind of just comes to you, that comes after. Definitely figuring out what you want um, your brand to represent or your clothing line to represent, what you want its meaning, its mission to be, that's step one, 100%. Step two would be the name and the design. Um, usually they go hand in hand. Usually if you figure out the name, the design's easy, or if you figure out the design, the name is easy. It took me a while to figure out the name Displaced by Design just because I had to go through the whole like trademark and figuring out, you know, what was being used, what wasn't being used. But once I did that, um, you know, it stuck, it's just stuck out. Logo came first for me. You know, spirituality is my faith is important to me. Um, so I definitely kind of wanted to incorporate that into my brand, though it is not a Christian clothing brand or a religious clothing brand. I know a lot of people are gonna assume it is. It's not. Once you do that, once you figure out the name and the logo and you got your your meaning or your what it represents, you know, that's that's like really a chunk of the battle right there. Because you want it to be something that people are going to uh, wanna wear, essentially wanna wear and believe in. The other half of the battle is then figuring out how you're gonna produce your product, how you're gonna manufacture your product. So right now I use drop shipping. There are two different things. There's drop shipping and then there's bulk sale wholesale. So what I do right now is I do drop shipping. I do my orders as they come in, you know, like I do it individually one at a time because when I was selling hats two years ago, I actually bought hats in bulk. But you know, not a lot of people wear 
hats as much as I wear hats, as y'all could tell from my why I wear hats video. Aside from like adding to my outfit and aside from like, uh, you know, like the, having that little mystery element, hats are just like super dope and like fit my face perfectly. But a lot of people aren't like that. A lot of people don't feel, think and feel that way. So I have a lot of hats sitting aside. I call them ball caps now. I don't call them dad hats anymore because I'm on a different wave. You know, I tried that method with the hats and now, and then I just ended up having a whole bunch of hats that I didn't sell. Once you figure out what method you want to do, wholesale or drop shipping, um, you, you do your research. If I want to do wholesale, you have to find a company, a manufacturing company that's not going to charge you more than you can get back within a year. It's that simple. If you want to go overseas, do it. If you want to stay domestic, do it. There are so many different companies out there that, um, that have products. If you find that one that's for you, roll with it. Or you can do the method that I do, drop shipping. And it's like, I get an order, I pay someone else to make the product, they already have the t-shirts, I make someone else, I pay someone else to make the product and then ship it out to you. Boom, easy transaction. And shout out to Shirt App. Please, you know what I mean, go check them out. After you figure out what type of method you're gonna use, drop shipping or wholesale, and then you figure out what you're gonna sell. Um, like I said, I'm selling t-shirts, hoodies, and hats around the way, but if you wanna do jackets, denim, whatever you wanna do, once you figure out all of that, your next step would be to LLC, trademark your brand, your company, which, you know, that really should have been one of the early steps, but that doesn't matter as much. It does, but it doesn't. You don't have to do that right off the bat. You don't have to spend that money right off the bat. Once you pick up some steam, once you actually you know, get going and, and invest time into it, then that's when you wanna do that because you don't wanna invest all this time and money into this brand, into this company, and then someone else just come along and take your idea. That would be, that would be bad. You know, that would be really bad. Once you do all that, you then wanna get in samples. You wanna get in samples of your product. If you're using drop shipping, that's gonna be the easiest method. That's gonna be the easiest method to get samples. If you're using someone overseas, that's gonna take you, that's gonna take you a while and it's gonna delay production. And you know, if you wanted to get your product out by a certain date, but you know, you wait a couple weeks to get some samples sent to you, that's gonna delay your production. I wouldn't put a time, it's just like anything creative. I would not put, you know, a time limit or a time frame on when you wanna pr uh, produce your, your product. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't cap yourself like that until you've received your samples and you kinda know how long it's gonna take you to um, receive your product. So like for me, when I went through Shirt App, when I found Shirt App, I tried multiple, I tried local, domestic, and then I finally found Shirt App. It took me less than two weeks to get these shirts. And once I saw the shirts, I started wearing them and people started seeing them. So I then started like, I'm different. I'm like, um, I'm, a, I'm all like strictly marketing. I'm strictly marketing, advertising, and brand awareness, but we'll get to that point. But that's, that's, the, type of, that's the type of individual I am. That's the type of businessman I am. Um, so I started to wear it around, wear it out, and people started to see it. And once you do that, once you have your samples, the next step really just kind of comes easy. It comes naturally. It's marketing. It's advertising. You then find your influencers. You find your people on social media that you know will represent your brand, will wear your apparel, and draw traffic towards your um, your website, towards your Instagram account, Facebook account, Twitter account, whatever you're using, Tumblr, whatever you're using. You find these influencers to drive traffic to it. Your target audience to your company, to your brand. That's it's key. It's so key. Um, I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. Do not expect to make money within your first year. Maybe maybe even maybe even 18 months. 18 to 24 months. Do not expect to make that much money because a lot of it is going to go right back into your company. It's going to go back into marketing. It's going to go back into advertising. It's going to back go back into buying shirts to go out to these influencers because you can't do it all on your own. So that's why marketing is is very important to me. That's how you get your brand out there. Brand awareness is 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 through marketing and advertising point blank through your influencers via social media, especially in our society. I could spend this whole video talking about how important marketing and advertising is and the different type of methods. And I'm actually, you know, drop down in the comments below. Let me know if you have more questions on that. And I will gladly answer that if you guys want to see another video on the marketing and the advertising and um, those type of strategies to help your business, help your brand. Let me know. I got y'all. I will tell y'all what works for me. I will point you in the direction of, of videos and people that have helped me out. We're going to do the whole thing together. We all in competition, but we all going to eat. I'm trying to get everybody to eat. If you wearing my Displaced by Design t-shirt or hoodie or ball cap and you want to wear something else with it, pair something else with it, 
why not? Why not? We all gonna eat, we all gonna shine. Once you have your product out there, once you have um, your, your apparel into uh, your influencer's hands and you're focusing on marketing, advertising, and brand awareness, your next phase is actually starting to produce product to the world. You should start getting uh, messages about sales. So when that happens, then that's when you wanna set up shop. Do not do it before making sales. I made that mistake. Do not do it. I will be completely honest. I set up a site with Yola site. Do not do that. If you're not making sales, do not waste your money on setting up a shop, a website. Wait until you're making sales. And I'm actually gonna jump back real quick. That's that's the disadvantage of, of drop shipping. You need to make sales to uh, produce product. With wholesale, if I'm buying a whole bunch of t-shirts, I can just go out and hit the streets. I can hit the streets, set up shop wherever, pay to set up shop in the mall, pay to set up shop at one of these local bars, whatever it is, and I could sell my shirts. And then you wanna set up shop. That's one of the advantages of wholesale. So if you wanna do that, go for it because that will really help you out. Once you start making your sales, then you wanna set up shop. I really highly recommend Shopify. It is just, it's, they do it, it's, they do it for you. You really want to do the least amount of work as possible. If you could do the least amount of work as possible or have someone else, something else do as much work for you as possible for free, do it. It's only gonna help you. It's only gonna make things easier, smoother. Shopify takes care of shipping. Like they can, they can align your shipping. Like they can like set the rates for you, all this. All you gotta do is add the product, set up a website, boom like $30 a month if you want this the basic Shopify. Man, come on, you'd be, a, you'd be a silly guy, silly girl not to use Shopify, you know? Once they're seeing your brand, you want them, to, you wanna redirect them to where they can purchase it for themselves and you want it to look neat, you want it to look clean, you want it to be simple, you want it to be aesthetically pleasing, you want to stand out, you wanna be different from everyone else. You wanna have that same shopping experience, that same neat, line clean shopping experience as these other brands because if they're like i'm gonna go buy a 25 dollar t-shirt but when i was using yola site it was so complicated they were paypal products and i'm like it it was so complicated it was so complicated i'm not gonna lie to you it was complicated um but they were like people i'm sure that was like all my traffic i was getting to my site they were just like nah it ain't worth it <laughs> I'll go somewhere else and buy this shirt or I'll go somewhere else, buy a different shirt, spend less on a different shirt on Amazon or something. You know what I mean? Like that does happen. If they see how difficult it is to shop on your site, to shop on your website, on, on your online store, they're going to go somewhere else. So that's key as well. Once you start to figure out your marketing and your advertising and your brand awareness and you got your influencers, you set up shop because those are all congruent to each other. Those all just fall in line. One of the last steps to creating a brand, creating, creating a clothing brand, it is social media. Social media is your greatest and your best and your most productive employee that you have for free. You don't really have to pay social media that much. You can pay for these Facebook ads and pay to promote via Instagram, but like, Aside from that, bro, just consistent. Be consistent on social media. It's an algorithm. Study that algorithm. You know, you have a business. That doesn't just mean you created a design, you put it on some product and you're selling it. It's so much more than that. It's a business. You have to be sales. You have to be finance. You have to be marketing. You have to be human resources. You have to be outreach. You have to be everything. You, you are everything in that beginning. In that first 18 to 24 months, you are everything. So once you're consistently putting out product, once you have a neat shop, once you're focusing on brand awareness and you have your brand ambassadors or your influencers and you're using social media, you're utilizing the Facebook and Instagram ads, the final steps are to just be trustworthy to produce. Do not take a month to get someone a t-shirt. It's, it's a trial and error creating a clothing brand because no one thing is going to work for everyone. So you gotta find what works for you, but you have to produce. And once you produce, the final step is honestly to just trust the process. Trust the process that a business needs time to grow. It's not gonna grow overnight. And if it does, man, I'm gonna reach out to you, hit me up if yours grew overnight, let me know what I'm doing wrong. You know what I'm saying? Let me get some knowledge, teach me how to fish. If you're not hitting the sales within 90 days, 
Don't stress it. Do not stress it. Keep producing. Keep being consistent. Consistency is key. Marketing is key. Brand awareness is key because these influencers are getting you out there. You're getting yourself out there, your product out there, your brand out there. So people are seeing it. People are going to the site. It's, they see it's neat. They see it's clean. But maybe they just need to keep seeing consistency. Maybe they just they see how young you are and, and they're just like how young of a company you are. And they're like, uh, you know what I mean? That's a dope shirt. But I want to see how much better it gets before I hop on board. Trust the process, man. Trust the process. And above all else, remember, marketing is key. Brand awareness is key. If there's anything I missed, please drop down in the comments. Let me know. If you want to know just like pricing with shirt app, what, what I'm doing, I'm I'm an open book. I'm I'm all about transparency because I feel like we all need to eat. We all gonna eat out here. I want everyone to be successful because that makes it fun. That makes competition fun. If I'm out here hiding all my secrets, then you know what I'm saying? And I'm the only one winning. What fun is that? I don't wanna collect everybody money. Make it hard for me, you know what I mean? Make it hard for me to do that. But yeah, if, I, if you have any other questions, man, please shoot me an email. Um, everything is below. All my contact is below. Shoot me an email, hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on Snapchat, hit me up on Twitter, Tumblr, whatever, Facebook. Follow us on Instagram at Displaced by Design, at William Houston. Man, come on, look out. 2019, prices just went up. But until then, I'm gonna catch you. Yo, we here. This for the vlog, this for the hype, this for the YouTube. This for the YouTube.